Marvel's Spider-Man 2 isn't just a game, it's a high-flying masterpiece that redefines epic storytelling in action. Yet even the best can stumble when sudden crashes disrupt the action. Today, we're breaking down the most effective fixes for those unexpected crashes in Marvel's Spider-Man 2. To get this game working perfectly on your PC, we need to ensure that a few essential components are installed. First, you must install the Visual C++ runtime, this is a requirement for pretty much every game. From the link in the description, simply download it, select any server from the options provided, and watch the download begin. It's approximately 100 megabytes, and you'll receive the latest version available. Once the download is complete, open the download location, locate the zip file, and extract it. All you need to do is run the provided bat file, and the setup will execute step by step, automatically installing all the necessary components. Next, we move on to DirectX, which is another essential component for the game to run smoothly. To update DirectX, open your system settings, go to the system tab, and then select optional features. At the top, click on view features, scroll down until you find the graphics tools option, and click the drop down icon to see the details. Here, you'll find DirectX listed, just what we need. Check the option, hit next, and then click add. The installation may take about 5 to 10 minutes, so please be patient while it completes. Once finished, it's a good idea to check if your system requires any additional updates. Now, updating your graphics driver is crucial for optimal performance. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so if you're using an NVIDIA card too, follow along closely. Head on to NVIDIA app's website then download and install the program. Open the NVIDIA app. Go to the drivers option. And then install the latest driver from here, you can select the driver you need, game ready or the studio one, up to you. Once your driver is updated, it's time to test if your game launches without issues. If it does, try lowering all the settings from the game's launcher to see if that improves stability. For upscale, choose FSR 3.1 with the upscale quality set to ultra performance. It's important to note that I've kept dynamic resolution scaling off, as enabling it would disable the upscale quality option, so stick with these settings for now. This combination is designed to deliver the best visual output while maximizing FPS. I've also enabled FSR 3.1 frame generation, which creates extra frames to smooth out gameplay. Moving on to graphics settings, switch everything to the lowest preset available. This immediately drops extra graphical details that can sap performance, giving you a more responsive game experience even on integrated graphics. When uncheck some of these options, like Bloom and other effects. Additionally, forcing the game to run at DirectX 11 can sometimes resolve crash issues. To do this, navigate to your game's installation folder and create a new text file, naming it appropriately for a command line override. Inside this file, simply write the required command line, and save it. For those using the Steam version, rather than a cracked copy, you'll need to go to the game's properties within Steam and add that command as a launch option. Moving on to graphics priorities, open your Windows graphics settings by searching for graphics settings in the start menu.
Once there, click on Change Default Graphics Settings, ensuring that the options are turned on. Then, click Browse, locate your game's executable, and set it to run on high performance. This step is critical, as using the default settings might cause your PC to run the game on an integrated graphics card instead of your dedicated GPU. Next, adjust the compatibility settings of the game. Go to the game's installation folder, right-click on the game's executable, and select Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, check the box to run this game in compatibility mode, and select Windows 8 from the drop-down menu. Also, make sure to check the boxes for Disable Full Screen Optimizations and Run as Administrator. These settings can help improve overall stability and performance. If the game crashes during play, cleaning your caches might resolve the issue. Press Windows Plus or to open the Run dialog, type in percent temp percent and press enter, then clean out the entire folder. Finally, locate the prefetch folder via the run dialog, open it, and clean it out as well. I've recently cleaned my caches, which is why they contain very little junk, however, depending on your system, you might have more to clear out. Alright now one last tweak, Head on to description and click on the link to redirect into this page, we'll be downloading a RAM cleaner. Whenever you feel the game is lagging or you're experiencing stutters, you can just use this tool to clean your memory cache and get the game lag free. Quickly download and install this thing. And here you can see a demo of how it works. You'll have this in the taskbar once you open it. And while in the game, just use the thing to flush out the cache. And yeah make sure to give it a like, comment below with how much FPS you're getting. And with all due respect, love your parents, respect your country, and most importantly, take care of yourselves, see you in another video, till then, bye.